Saudi Arabia has unveiled five new hypersonic weapons. This unexpected revelation marks a significant leap forward in the kingdom's military capabilities and signals its intent to establish a formidable presence in the high-stakes arena of hypersonic technology. The announcement has sent shockwaves through the defense sector, underscoring the rapid advancements and ambitious strategies fueling Saudi Arabia's defense modernization program. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Hypersonic weapons, capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5, represent the cutting edge of military technology. These weapons can maneuver unpredictably at high velocities, making them incredibly difficult to detect and intercept. As such, they have the potential to revolutionize warfare by offering unprecedented speed, precision, and lethality. The introduction of these systems by Saudi Arabia not only elevates its military standing but also shifts the balance of power within the region and beyond. The unveiling of these hypersonic weapons comes as part of Saudi Arabia's broader Vision 2030 initiative, a comprehensive plan aimed at diversifying the kingdom's economy and reducing its dependence on oil revenues. A key component of this vision is the development of a robust and technologically advanced defense sector. Over the past few years, Saudi Arabia has made substantial investments in military research and development, forging strategic partnerships with leading defense contractors and leveraging its vast financial resources to accelerate progress. Among the newly revealed hypersonic weapons, each system showcases distinct capabilities and strategic applications. These weapons are designed to enhance Saudi Arabia's defensive and offensive operations, ensuring it can respond swiftly and effectively to a wide range of threats. The specific details of these systems remain closely guarded, but the general characteristics and potential implications have captured the attention of military analysts and policymakers worldwide. The first of these weapons is a hypersonic cruise missile, engineered for long-range precision strikes. This missile can travel at speeds exceeding Mach 7, allowing it to penetrate sophisticated air defense systems and deliver pinpoint attacks on high-value targets. Its advanced propulsion system and aerodynamic design enable it to maintain high speeds while maneuvering through complex flight paths, making it a formidable tool for both deterrence and direct engagement. The second weapon is an air-launched hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV. This system can be deployed from various aircraft, providing a versatile platform for rapid response and strategic flexibility. The HGV's ability to glide at hypersonic speeds through the upper atmosphere allows it to evade traditional radar systems and anti-missile defenses, ensuring it can reach its target with minimal warning. This capability significantly enhances Saudi Arabia's ability to conduct precision strikes and neutralize threats before they can escalate. The third hypersonic weapon unveiled by Saudi Arabia is a ground-launched ballistic missile with a hypersonic payload. This system combines the range and power of a traditional ballistic missile with the speed and maneuverability of a hypersonic weapon. Upon re-entry into the atmosphere, the hypersonic payload can adjust its trajectory to avoid interception, ensuring it reaches its target with devastating impact. This weapon enhances Saudi Arabia's strategic deterrence, providing a credible countermeasure against potential aggressors. The fourth weapon is a ship-launched hypersonic missile, designed to bolster the kingdom's naval capabilities. This missile can be deployed from various classes of naval vessels, enabling rapid and flexible responses to maritime threats. Its hypersonic speed and advanced targeting systems make it particularly effective against high-value naval targets, such as aircraft carriers and destroyers. This addition to Saudi Arabia's arsenal significantly enhances its ability to project power and defend its maritime interests in critical regions. The fifth and final hypersonic weapon is an anti-satellite missile, reflecting Saudi Arabia's recognition of the growing importance of space in modern warfare. This missile is capable of reaching and destroying enemy satellites in low Earth orbit, thereby disrupting communications, surveillance, and navigation systems that are critical to military operations. The development of this weapon underscores Saudi Arabia's commitment to securing its interests in space and denying adversaries the strategic advantages provided by satellite technology. The announcement of these hypersonic weapons has profound implications for the global defense landscape. For one, it marks Saudi Arabia's emergence as a significant player in the field of advanced military technology. The kingdom's ability to develop and deploy such sophisticated systems 
demonstrates a high level of technical expertise and industrial capacity, challenging the dominance of traditional military powers. Moreover, the introduction of hypersonic weapons into the Middle East raises the stakes in an already volatile region. The potential for these weapons to alter the strategic calculus of regional powers cannot be understated. Neighboring countries and other global players will undoubtedly reassess their own defense postures in light of Saudi Arabia's new capabilities, potentially leading to an arms race and increased tensions. The geopolitical ramifications of Saudi Arabia's hypersonic weapons extend beyond the Middle East. As a key ally of the United States and a major player in the global oil market, Saudi Arabia's actions have wide-reaching consequences. The kingdom's advancements in hypersonic technology could influence U.S. defense strategies and international security policies, particularly concerning the proliferation of such technologies. Saudi Arabia's hypersonic weapons program also highlights the critical role of international collaboration and technology transfer in modern defense development. The kingdom's partnerships with leading defense contractors and research institutions have been instrumental in achieving these breakthroughs. This underscores the importance of strategic alliances and the flow of technical knowledge in maintaining a competitive edge in the rapidly evolving landscape of military technology. The development of hypersonic weapons is not without its challenges and controversies. The high costs associated with research, development, and deployment of these systems are a significant consideration. Furthermore, the deployment of hypersonic weapons raises ethical and strategic questions about their use and the potential for escalation. The speed and destructive power of these weapons necessitate careful consideration of rules of engagement and the potential consequences of their use in conflict. In response to Saudi Arabia's unveiling of its hypersonic arsenal, other nations are likely to accelerate their own hypersonic programs. The United States, China, and Russia have already invested heavily in hypersonic technology, recognizing its strategic importance. The entry of Saudi Arabia into this elite group will likely spur further developments and competition as countries seek to maintain their technological edge and deter potential adversaries. One of the immediate effects of Saudi Arabia's hypersonic advancements is the potential shift in regional power dynamics. The Middle East has long been a hotspot of geopolitical tension, with various state and non-state actors vying for influence and control. The introduction of hypersonic weapons into this volatile mix adds a new layer of complexity. Neighboring countries, particularly those with historical tensions with Saudi Arabia, will be compelled to reassess their own military strategies and capabilities. This could lead to an arms race, as these nations seek to develop or acquire similar technologies to counterbalance Saudi Arabia's newfound prowess. The strategic calculus of the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, and its member states will also be affected. As a leading member of the GCC, Saudi Arabia's hypersonic capabilities enhance the collective security posture of the Council. This development could lead to greater military cooperation and integration among GCC states as they work together to leverage these advanced weapons for mutual defense and deterrence. As the world grapples with the implications of hypersonic weapons, International dialogue and cooperation will be crucial in managing the risks and ensuring strategic stability. The development of norms and agreements governing the deployment and use of hypersonic weapons could help mitigate the potential for conflict and promote responsible stewardship of these powerful technologies. Saudi Arabia's revelation of five new hypersonic weapons represents a significant milestone in the kingdom's military modernization efforts. These advanced systems not only enhance Saudi Arabia's defensive and offensive capabilities, but also have far-reaching implications for regional and global security. As the world adjusts to this new reality, the need for strategic dialogue, technological innovation, and international cooperation will be more critical than ever. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What is your opinion on Saudi Arabia's new hypersonic weapons reveal? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.